welcome to another vlog and for today I decided to show you around the house or our flat since all of my flatmates went out for shopping just for a few minutes then I thought about you know showing you around on how it looks like inside the house from from the outside and uh, this is also about a mini tutorial about the appliances on how to manipulate them because you know um, you might find yourself asking yourself how would you operate this or that so it might really help you so let's check it out so i'm currently outside and it's very windy right now but i'll just show you how it looks like here so we are actually staying on the second floor and that is our um gate in there we're gonna have to walk through the stairs and this is a mini terries that we have in here so that is our front door and those are the windows of our house so let's go in so in here guys um you're gonna see the kitchen it does have the equipment or appliances that is the sink and you can see different different cabinets there that's a refrigerator and on my right is the kitchen counter and this is what we actually use for our like when we dine in we don't have a dining table but you know this is wide enough so we can set out our plates and just eat together now coming from the front door, you can see a door in there. That is my flatmate's room. This is my room in there, which I will be showing you later on. This is the living room. You can see a sofa. We don't have any TV yet and we're not planning to set up one, I believe. That's a cabinet again. And these are the chairs that we use for our... This is the, these are the chairs that we use when we dine in together. Alright, so let's move on to this part. Now, this is the third room, which I won't be able to show you because that's my flatmate's room. And that is also another room of my flatmate. Now, this is the bathroom. Let me show you very quick. Okay. So it has a bathtub in there. There's the shower. That is a toilet. There is no division as you can see between the bathtub and uh, the toilet. And then that is the sink. Alright, so I was finally able to sh give you a, a little house tour. Now I think I'd be able to give you some tips about the equipment or appliances that we're using here in the UK. And it's really, really, really different in the Philippines. You know, when I first came here, I was like um, talking to the landlord and I was, how do you use this? We don't use this in the Philippines. We don't know how to manipulate this. And then there were several times when we had to call them because you know we don't know how to because we didn't know how to turn off or turn on things um so hopefully this mini tutorial would be able to give you you know some information about the appliances or technology that they're using here in the uk so let's begin first thing is the microwave and i'm pretty sure you know how to manipulate this the one that we got here is this one it doesn't have any button but just like this thing that you turn on or yeah so of course this is powered by electricity there are labels in there as you can see hopefully you can see that it says low defrost medium low mid medium medium high and high you just need to of course select that one currently it's a it's in uh, the high that's what we use and then this one is for the time so that is counted in minutes not in seconds very easy um, what else right let's go here in the stove 
In the Philippines, we are used in using the gas stove, right? Where you have to, just like the microwave that I've showed you earlier, where you have to like um, click it, stuff like that. But in here, this is an induction and it's powered again by electricity. So what you do is you, you can see a power button here and then you can see those labels in there. Obviously there are four stove that you can use. So depending on which is highlighted, then that's the one that you're gonna use. So in this case, the upper left side is highlighted, which means when you turn it on or when you press on it, this is the one that's gonna lit on, right? So let's try it. Press and hold that. It's gonna come out. Let's say I use, I use this. Okay, so this is the one I'll be using. If I wanna turn up the heat, and I'll just press on the arrow up. And this is until 9, as far as I know. Maximum is 9. Now, if I want to lower it down, then I just need to click on the arrow or press on the arrow. If you want to turn it off, you just need to press and hold it again. And that should turn it off. So it's really easy, but at first, it looks intimidating, right? Now, let's move on to the oven. To be honest, I'm not really sure how you... Um, do this because I'm, I'm not that kind of person who bakes a lot or you know whatever but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that you either can ask your landlord or you just search it by yourself there are labels anyway um, this is the power button um, I'm not really sure I'm so sorry I'm, I'm not of help but for sure this is the temperature it says there degree Celsius so yeah Next stuff, let's go to the washing machine. Okay, so what we have here is a washing machine, which is separate, and a dryer, which is separate as well. So those are two different equipments. For the washing machine, we are using the Hoover. You can put up until nine kilograms. Okay, so again, this was very intimidating at first, but it's really easy when you learn how to use it. So there's um, a selection here. Uh, this is the off button, obviously, and you just need to select which one you want. I know there are a lot of information here that's kind of overwhelming, but what I use normally is the daily, or it depends if I want to wash my dark colored clothes and I do that. If I want to wash cottons, I do that. So basically, the, those are the three things that I mainly use. For my undies, I normally use delicates. So the first thing that you need to do is to, of course, turn it on. Um, select either the daily one or anything that you want. After that, you can click on start. All right. So this one tells us how many minutes the washing is going to run. So in this case, my flatmate is actually currently doing her laundry. So it's going to take 38 minutes more. So depending on what you choose in there, the minutes is going to show up there or hours. Next one. This is for the dryer or the drying machine. So it's the same thing in here. There are labels in there. This is the off button. If you want to use the strong dry, extra dry, or for synthetic, this is what you use for your coats that are sensitive or it's not, uh, if it's not made in cotton. So you can use that. Um, bed linen, this is what I use for my bed linen, obviously. Yeah, so depending on what you select, then you will do that and then just press on the start button, right? So it's very, very easy. Uh, by the way, so in here, while you were cooking, it's very important that you turn on the exhaust fan. So this is what they use. There is, again, some buttons in there. So if you want to turn on the light, and you can do so, right? So you won't have to turn on the lights of the whole kitchen or the living room. So just turn it off, turn it back on if you want to. Very easy. Now, this three has different levels. So the, there's the, um, what do you call this? One, two, three. So the first level is uh, for the exhaust fan, which means it's gonna suck up the smoke 
coming from your from coming from what you're cooking mildly all right so you just have to press on it i hope that's clear next is this one this is a vacuum cleaner I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't used a vacuum all my life because we've been using, um, you know, just the regular sweeping something. And uh, I'm not really cleaning my house or my even my own room, so I don't use it. But this is also just very easy. Um, as you can see, this is powered by electricity as well, so it's charged in there. This is Dyson. This is very expensive. God. So all you have to do is to... All right, remove it from there. So this hole that you can see is the one where you're gonna suck up all the things that you wanna clean. And then there's like a trigger in here. There's a trigger in here. So you can press that when you wanna start cleaning. So let's say we clean this stuff. <laughs> so I got that. Now, since it's very difficult to clean just using this hole, then I'm going to be using this thing in here. I'm not sure what you call it, but let's see if I can do it one hand. Oh, God. So all you need to do is to fit it in there. Okay. Then it's already connected in there. So it's going to be easier for me to clean, right? So all I need to do is to just press in the trigger. And that is gone. All right, so that is how easy to clean this stuff in here. If you want to remove it, just need to press on that. Oh, you can do it one hand. Yeah, so it's very hard to remove it by one hand. But anyway, um, by the way, you won't be able to use that and that. And what else? Um, the oven as well, it wouldn't work if the buttons are not turned on. So, um, we do have here the fridge freezer, which is for our fridge, obviously, here. So, if, you're, if, if, if I turn this off, let's try it. Okay, and that's turned off as well. But if I turn it on, then it's going to turn on. Right? So it's very different from the one that we're using in the Philippines where it's automatic as long as it's connected to a socket. Also, the refrigerators here, the freezer is below, not above. So we put here all our meats, you know, and then here is the vegetable thing and the, the drinks up there. Okay. What else? Um, the cooker food, that was that thing that I showed you earlier. So if you don't turn it on in here, then it wouldn't work, even if you press all the buttons in there. There's also um, a button for, for the dryer, the boiler, the washing machine, and the oven. For the boiler, let me show you how it looks like. Here you go. So this is what we call the boiler with the radiator and with the radiation and whatever. I don't really know how to use that, but my landlord did set it up for us, so it shouldn't be a problem. There, uh, he said this is also connected to the boiler, and you know I don't I really don't know how to use that. But anyway, it is important that this one is turned on because if not, then you know that boiler is actually used to supply. Um, heat in the water system that we have here so there's one for the hot water and then the cold water right oh another thing that you should know regarding the water we don't use here a refilling water or what do you call that something that cleanses the water we don't use that be because you know you can just drink from the tap water and it's clean Let's move on guys to the heaters. So 
In each room, there are heaters um, and there is also a heater for the living room. Now, let me show you how it works. So this is what we use here. I hope you can see that. And then there is a thing here that you manipulate. Okay, so that one is turned off if it's pointing on the circle. Now, if you want to turn off the heat, you just need to do that. This is the first, second, third, fourth, and then the hottest one. So right now, it's uh, I believe it's 4 p.m. or so. It's not really that hot, or it's not really that cold, so I'm just going to turn it off for the meantime. Like I've mentioned, we do have a heater in the living room as well. But this one is big because it will accommodate the whole living and living room and kitchen. So it's uh, it has the same thing. This is currently turned off, but you, if you want to turn it on, then you just need to point it out to that one or whichever fits you. Alrighty, let's move on to the bathroom or the loo. Okay. So, um, surprise for the toilet, you just need to press that and it should flash, right? Nothing really different. Um, this one is something where you can dry your stuff, uh, mostly towels, but I don't put my towels in here. These are my flatmates towels. So when you hold it, it's actually a, a hot, you know, not too hot though, uh, just hot enough to, you know, warm your stuff that you're gonna put in there. Yeah. Um, for this one, we're using two shower heads. One is big and one is small. So you're gonna see there the label. I guess actually let me go inside the tub oh <laughs> okay so this is currently turned off but if you move this in here that the small one is gonna you know run then the water in the small one is gonna run and then the other option is to use the bigger shower here you can see the numbers, obviously that is for the temperature of the water. If you want to make it more hot, then you increase the numbers. But uh, if not, then if you want to make it colder, you can decrease the numbers. We usually use around five, six, or seven, depending on the weather. This one again, since um, we are being supplied with hot and cold water or regular water, then this is for the hot one and the cold one, but I'm sure that you already know that. Okay, moving on to the mirror. Nothing really special here. It's a mirror, but you can open it. Ta-da! You can see, you know, you, I think usually they call it the medicine box, but we don't put medicine, of course. We just put in our stuff in there. And let me show you something really cool. Let's press on that. It's not working anymore. Oh. Gosh, I wonder why it's not working anymore. So before, when I press on that, the lights are going to turn on in here. I don't know why it's not doing that. The last thing that I want to show you guys is the knob in here. Oh, this is our main door, right? But when we came here, we didn't really know how to lock it, you know? So if we do that, we open this. We can still open it. So don't you find it really weird? So let me try it again. I'll close it. And then I'll lock it here. But it's not locking, right? So this type of door, I forgot what it's called, but it has some built something built in it or whatever. Um, you have to turn it up first, turn up the knob before you lock it. So that way, it won't open. I, w I don't know if it's just me. 
that's really stupid in this stuff or but yeah I am thinking of other stuff that I can show you but uh, as far as I know we don't have enough appliances that I can show you or that I can share with you so hopefully that really help you to you know um, work through all the appliances that you have encountered or that are encountering or about to encounter here in the UK and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me a question send me a comment send me a message I'm gonna reply if I'm not busy um, also you can you know give me any suggestions on what to do next on my blog so there you go I hope this blog has been beneficial for you and I will see you soon here future UKRN